While the ships in the Navy, the battle wagons get all the attention and the aircraft carriers all the glory, but arguably the backbone of the fleet has always been the destroyers. Small, fast, nimble little ships with dual-purpose armament, which can often pack a punch quite above their weight. One of the most numerous classes was the Fletcher-class destroyer. 175 or so were built, and we are on one right now, USS Kidd. Kid, a pirate's tour of duty. Based on their powerful armament, unique survivability, sophisticated fire control systems, long operational range, and decent seakeeping, Fletchers are rightfully considered one of the best ships of this type. Of course, along with many other classes of ships, they also had their fair share of casualties during the war. There were 25 Fletcher-class destroyers that were sunk during World War II. Japanese kamikaze tactics became their major headache. And it was April 1945 that our Pacific pirate first encountered kamikaze pilots. The young boy and all the young boys were put in the most dangerous, dirtiest jobs. Oh, I, my ship, I was in the powder magazine. I had no idea it was going to be hit. I don't know what happened, but all I know is a bang. The lights went out. I went out. I woke up, couldn't see anything because it was so dark. Almost a third of the crew was incapacitated, 38 killed, 45 wounded. The chief mechanic was boiled alive in the ship's boiler rooms. The ship's doctor was caught by a bomb fragment and lost his eye, making him unable to fulfill his duty. He was carrying a camera that he used to shoot the battle. After the explosion, its film was mostly burned, except for the fragment displaying the kamikaze plane directly before the impact. Despite all these casualties, the kid managed to move away for repairs under her own steam. This surely outlines the outstanding construction of Fletcher's and the high skill of the crews aboard. 